Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Paymo. Paymo is amazing software that you can use for tracking finances, work time, also building your clients. So many stuff that we can achieve and do. Now the first thing you want to do is just scroll down below to the description and click on a link. In that way you will get directly on Paymo app and here we are going to start with that link free trial. So what we're going to do, I'm going for temporary email right now and we are going to sign up together. So I'll just wait until this loads. Okay, yabba dabba do. Work email, start my free trial. And would you like to gun charts and team scheduling? Yes, let's do the all, right? You will mainly be using Paymo for. And now you choose. For what are you going to use it? Managing projects from start to finish, planning, keeping track of who's working on what, Tracking time spent on work, creating sending invoices for clients. Again, you choose. Um, if you're going to use all, just choose one and it's all right. Next step, start with a simple project. So generic project, development, marketing plan, consulting project. I'm going to leave it for generic project. Of course, if you want to use it for, let's say, consulting project, you would click here consulting project. And let's go next step. And now main name like this and password company name is going to be Sunway as that's my company company size 2 to 10 people and then start using Paymo now let's just wait until it loads and we are going to continue so here uh, we are going to show you how to add tasks and projects let's click let's go and here we're gonna have like, I want to show you everything. I'm going to skip everything here because I'm going to show you how we can do it. But right before it, I'm going to confirm Paymo pay account on my email. Like this. And voila. So here we are. So first thing first, what we can actually find in Paymo and how we can use it. First, I will show you the walkthrough, what we can find, and then we will be creating projects, adding tasks and everything. All right. So right here on the left side, left side, you would see search and a quick add. Now, when I'm going to quick add, I can simply add a task, project, time entry or user. Now, right here, when I collapse the menu, I have option to see the home where I would find uh, the project. Also the tasks what are in that project and I would go to the top. I can see team tasks and dashboard. Like what is it, what is actually happening with my clients, projects and etc. Then we're going to see the clients here and we will be simply adding a client. I will show you how to do it. Then we are going to look on projects right here and I'm going to show you how we can simply add a project. Then people, users and guests. And I will show you how we can use that too. So we will be starting with clients. Then I will show you how we can add the people. Then uh, how we can work with a project, accounting, time reports, timesheets, team scheduling, everything what you see here. And I will show you how we can do it. Of course, we will also learn how we can simply add invoices right here and what you can do with the invoices. Now let's just start with the clients. That's the first thing that we are going to focus on. So all we have to do is go to top left and let's click here add a client. Now right here, client name, let's say this is going to be a Sun client and you choose your client of course, email address like this. Then you see the default project color, accounting information, default project hourly rate. So if I'm going to uh, do some let's say project hour rate it's going to be 50 and invoice terms it's going to be 30 days and then on the right side you see the phone fax website and then mailing address from the address city state postal code and country you choose all of these all right then you're going to click save client when you're going to finish the client of course you can stop the video anytime and then continue with me further and voila, here we have the Sun client. And you see that on the overview, as the client, then we are going to see the contacts here. And I can simply add a contact to my client. So this would be the 
send contact email address and position let's say co and i would add mobile phone fax skype id notes and when i have the contact and when we finish the contact then we're going to see the projects and i'll be showing you also how we can add projects to your client and how we can work with timesheets and invoices here but i'll be showing the projects right here on the project but right before it we're going to jump to projects i want to show you under people when you're going to click users and then right here you can simply add a user and you can invite someone to work with you on your projects and invoices and everything so now i have new user i would add a username email address and then role if it's what kind of employee is it or what kind of role he got and then workday so let's say this would be sun user email address and then uh, this is going to be uh, designer and when the week starts workday length 8 hours 10 hours or 12 hours if you're if, you, if we are working in japan or china our rate we can go again like 30 and annual leave indictment how many days in the year and then privileges so on the right side you can also choose what kind of privileges the person got so they can be adding projects also they can have admin privileges manage invoices you choose it right here and then what i would do i would click here save user and then we voila here we have our own user now when we go further and when we have the people and we have the client what i can do is simply click on a project and i can click here on the top left add a project here with the project name let's say this is going to be youtube channel now i can add a description for the youtube channel i can choose a client and we have the sun client that we created right now we have default workflow of course you can use a template if you want to and you see it's always like different i'm going to uh, click cancel but you can like apply template right here then on the right side you see the building method time and materials flat rate project project price let's say this is going to be 1000 and hours estimate you can have adjusted automatically or budget hours you choose that if you want to then under user use a template you click save project and voila here we have the project so what we can actually find on our project first thing first in overview what is actually happening with the project and then you're going to see the complete tasks unbuild ar then tasks here so this is overview tasks i can simply come here and add a task and i'm going to show you how you can simply add a tasks so first thing first you're going to see overview under tasks you're going to have tasks list so let's say task list would be youtube youtube video that's the task list that we have under task list i'm going to add a task and the task name would be let's say that i need to write a description under youtube when i have it i can click here i can change the description i can assign it to me or the user that i invited i can set dates when it needs to be like accomplished then i can upload files i can see the progress status or i can change the priority if it's a critical high normal low and then i'm going to click save task of course you can always click on your task and edit it right here and when you're going to see on the left side the project the task list the start and end date you can assign see the assigned users right here you're going to see the billing type and then this is really important you can simply add a subtask to your task so i would click add a subtask and subtask subtask name would be uh, let's say uh youtube description two and save subtask 
and I can convert it to tasks. That's pretty much how we can do. You're going to see the time files here, time entries. And as you can see, you can add a time. You can even start a timer for your task and add a bulk time if you want to. So this is pretty much it. And as you can see, we see that this is a task that we have. And then there is a subtask. So this is pretty much it how we do it. Then, of course, on the top right, you can switch between the list and you can go to table. You can switch between board. See, backlog, to do, in progress, or if it's a complete. So you got multiple options here. And then uh, you see also the calendar when it's actually happening. And we see the task is right here on this calendar. And the next thing are going to see milestones with the milestones. Um, you can add a milestone. So this is the tasks finish. If you can have any questions, guys, about the tasks, ask me down in the comments on a milestone. I can simply click add a milestone and I can add a name. So let's say YouTube video. And I have due date. Send reminder. I can send reminders if I want to and save milestone. See, this is the milestone that we have. Time sheets. You can even add time. This is what we're going to see also here. So and you have option for the user if it's a time interval or duration and date, start time, end time and entry note here. So for the task, it was what description, write the description under YouTube and we can have duration or time interval. And I can add an entry. So you can simply add entries here. You can make it bigger, change it if it's going to be two hours, not only one hour. And you can even add a bulk time. So these were like how you can use the timesheets, files, discussion and activity feed. What is actually happening on your project? Using and managing the projects is really simple and it's nothing hard to do, but this is pretty much it how we do it. Now, when you're going to have the projects, the next thing what I want to show you are accounting and invoices. Now, I will just show you the invoices. If you want me to show you the estimates, recurring and expenses, let me down below in the comments and I will look into it. So I will simply click here and I will going to click add an invoice. And now, as you can see, what we can find here. I can accept online payments. I can change the currency and I can change the language. Provider is me, customer, sample client, and I can go to choose the sun client that we created. I can also change the logo right here. On the right side, we're going to see the date, due date, delivery date. Uh, that you can change and invoice number. And then we're going to see the invoice. The item here, let's say this would be YouTube video. Description, creating a YouTube video. Price unit is going to be like 200, let's say quantity free. And let's say I don't want to apply a tax. And I can simply add a discount here. And we see the total. And then what I can do is to go on the bottom and click save invoice. So, and this is the invoice added. And I can simply mark as a paid, mark as a send, mark as a void. I can add a new payment or what I can do, I can print it. I can export it to PDF or Xero or QuickBooks or I can simply send it. Now, when you're going to see the accounting and we're going to see the invoices, you can simply click here on estimates. And you can add estimate and it work really similar way as uh, the invoice and what you can do is to simply convert the estimate to invoice then we're going to see the recurring and you can add a recurring invoice this is also really similar but the only difference is on the right side you will see the new recurring profile you see the start date and frequency every two weeks four weeks monthly and occurrences so this is the difference here and then we're going to see the expenses. Expenses are also pretty simple. What you can do is to simply add expenses. Now, on the time reports. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to. On a time report, you can simply click add report. This is the report that we already have here. And this is the sample. I can add a report and you can switch and change everything here for your reports as much as you want. So you can do it right here. And then we can see the timesheets. In timesheets, that's something that we are already working on. So what I can do is to add a bulk time or add a time. And you can simply choose the project, then choose a task duration, let's say 45 minutes at the entry. See, and that's how we can do it. Now, then you're going to see the team scheduling here that you're going to see the add a booking for the team scheduling for the project for the task. And like you can add a booking for your team scheduling for other people here and how many hours a day you would choose a user. And we choose the sun user that I have hours a day, eight hours, and I can add a note. They are, they are going to work eight hours a day. So it's like specify for 100% and a booking. And they know that for this task for Tuesday, they have to do this. And it's really important and really easy to understand. So um, this is pretty much it, how we can do it and how we can use it. And of course, you can simply go on the bottom left and start playing, not playing here, use a timer always like duration on a bottom left. You would have duration for your project and also for the task here. So that's something you can actually do. And yeah, this was a quick walkthrough. I don't know if it was quick, but this is how we can use the Paymo app. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and you know how it goes, you know how it is. And yeah, thank you and have a great day, guys, and goodbye. And of course, you can register through the link down below in the description. And yeah, see ya.